DC power supply is an indispensable tool for motherboard repairing. Today, we'll share with you how to use it. There are two kinds of power supply for repairing we use mostly. The left is a pointer type DC power supply. The right is a digital readout power supply. For pointer type DC power supply, we recommend this dual ampere meters for motherboard repair. This is 3A 500MA switch, and 3A can drive motherboard to turn on. 500MA is suitable for observing small power leakage. This is circuit board of battery testing cable. Without it, when power cable turns on iPhone motherboard, it will reboot a few minutes after power on because there's no battery test function. Here are battery power cable connectors which were specially designed for Apple. Different connectors are for different models. These two are power cables connecting the positive and negative plugs of DC power supply. Today we focus on how to use this Sugong 30050 DC power supply during motherboard repairing. This is power button and this is voltage shift adjustment button, which can adjust volts output from 0V to 30V. This is limit button, which can limit output of electric current within 5A. Four memory buttons that can store four gears voltage and adjust voltage gears quickly. Long price voltage shift adjustment button, lock button lights up. When voltage output in locking state, other button functions will out of work. Long price voltage shift adjustment button again. Lock button is off. Unlock state is removed. When electric current exceeds the set current, it will return to zero and enter protection mode. It can automatically restore power supply state after overcurrent protection, which is commonly used in repairing. Different from constant overcurrent protection, in this mode, DC power supply won't restore power supply output automatically after short circuit, which needs manual adjustment. This mode can protect motherboard from high current strike or short circuited during repair. At this mode, even electric current access side current. It won't enter protection mode, also won't flashlight for alarm, but always maintain output of voltage and current. This mode is very helpful for short circuit and high electric current problems inspection. This is USB output port, which can supply external power. Now we use UV curing lamp for test. When adjusting voltage range and number of volts, brightness of UV lamp also changes. This indicates that output voltage of USB port is consistent with the voltmeter, not fixed on 5V. This power supply can lock on 5V. Generally, we can adjust voltage to rest continuously up to 30V. Switch this button to 5V locking position, and the maximum output is locked on 5V. It can avoid burning motherboard due to excessive power supply. Do you know how to select power supply and how to use them now? If you have other questions or suggestions, please leave your comments and share with us. Welcome to subscribe our channel for more updates.